Hip. Let me just check what happens when I try to climb there. Well, maybe there just won't be any prompt. Oh, oh, I just touched it and they go. Oh, what is in this one? Tainted. No? Huh? What? Just like that? What? That, that's weird. I don't know if I ever tried in the previous game to just touch a waterfall with this suit, but I probably would have. Isn't this one tainted sludge? She said it wouldn't be useful here. Uh, I think somebody mentioned the guy over here, but I don't really remember what it was. I think it was one of the old guys. Nothing unusual? No, nothing unusual. Hello there, Duma. I think I knew you from... Ah, uh, I think you are the daughter of the guy at the entrance that knew us. Uh, of all people, it's the one and only Link. Welcome is what I like to say. The thing is, we're conducting an investigation of the ruins here. Oh. We're looking for Prin Prince Sidon, he can be found in Mipha Court. That's where I'm going afterwards. That's on the peak of Plymouth Mountain. Okay, but no, I was looking for something else actually. What's that supposed to be on? Oh. Ah, there maybe. Prince Sidon can be found in Mipha Court. I'm sure it'll be overjoyed to see you. Clip. Maybe that guy over here. Oh. Phew. Giato. I am exhausted. To think I would be so foolish as to lose my precious tool for investigation, investigating ruins while I was waterfall climbing. It has caused me endless trouble. Uh, I must rest a bit before continuing the investigation. Wow, thanks for acknowledging the guy next to you. Uh, I think I'm supposed to get that. Uh, but he did mention something about a tool he dropped. Oh, since I'm gonna jump from here, let's check the monument that was around here. Learn of the Zora part 6 AI, I don't remember the... I did skip one, didn't I? Maybe it was the 6th? Uh. The history of Mipha Court. The conclusion as told by Prince Sidon. The first half of this tale can be found on Anderson Monument. Uh, so maybe I skipped the 5th one as well. Uh, if it is not too much trouble, I advise reading that first. Now present, I now present the conclusion. When imposed with the task of naming this stored location, I, Prince Sidon, fell silent. After a while, I timidly proposed the one and only name that came to mind for this place of newfound peace. I suggest that we name it after my beloved sister, who had long been lost to us, Ifa Court. I worried that you would think I was unfairly favoring my own family's legacy by naming it after my kin. A hush fell over the group. After a time, one of the stone mazes raised his voice in agreement. More voices joined, it, joined his, one after another. The idea was embraced wholly, and the craftsmen all returned to their work. Though the work was grueling, from then until the completion of Milford Court, the air was filled with laughter and singing. This incident drove home uh, to my very core how much everyone loved my sister. I hope one day to inspire such admiration, if there is ever to be a side of cart, I must work tirelessly to earn the other. Uh, did I mark the other ones? Damn it, I should have. 
uh, there was one here there was one down there one at the end of the road i think it's around here by this road uh i crossed here i climbed here the water there i think it's here the wall then we went over here went around i'm i think here one down there i think underneath that over here we jumped over i think it was next to the water there was one somewhere around this that i know it's the one that spoke of ruto in the previous one then climbing here i think it was here there was supposed to be one the dance so one two three four five six seven eight nine and this was actually the six so yeah i'm not sure uh i actually want to test that no no tool for uh archaeology uh, nothing here no did that guy mention two uh, i think i should be able to find it Yeah, but it's the splash fruits over there. And this obviously being right here. It doesn't seem like I would need much else for him. No. Can't. This kind of looks like those monuments. But maybe older. That works for you. Can you read it? No. It's that Zoro script. Oh, hello, Link. What brings you to such a place? As for myself, I came in here to conduct an investigation on the ruins. Uh, but I am already wary from just the climb. Uh, that is why I was indulging in a little break before beginning my research. In any case, aren't you guys late already? From what the other guys said. In any case, the sounds laid with cover is broken, so we cannot fully interpret its text at the moment. Mm. Oh, you fixed it. <gasps> well, now look at the gloriously repaired stone plate. Mm. You have helped me immensely, Link. I cannot thank you enough. I am investigating the stone slate under Prince Sidon's royal command. Ah. Before all else, I suggest that you go and speak with Prince Sidon to see what he knows. Can't you just read that for me? This guy's stone and there's princess command. Damn it. Oh yeah, I This should slow me down and stuff. Can I swim on it? And I also want to check this path. Oh, uh, no. Let's go through here first. Is Garrison around? Actually, I don't remember. I don't think I met her, did I? Yeah, here's where she used to be. Ah, oh, they're fleeing already. Okay, you're not her. Ah, it is you. You really helped me out. So, here's a bit of advice for you. Ah, you're the guy that was having trouble breathing. If you're gills, no, wait. You're Highland. Uh, what is that thing called? Ah, your nose. Ah, interesting. So, your noses don't have holes in them. Okay, I get it. They can get water through their mouth. But, don't some fishes... Don't fish have nose? Mm. In any case... If that thing gets stuffed up in a sludge, you can wash up in the water from the waterfall. <laughs> Do not worry, that is the water that Prince Saturn cleaned at Mipha Court, which is upstream. Ah. I recall that Prince Saturn was once a dead headstrong, and now he is handling this sludge with utmost patience and maturity. I suppose the old wisdom holds true, turbulent waters produce strong fish.
uh, or to be able to climb through there as well. Yeah, we can climb there to uh, let's check there. Oh, yes, there was a bed here, could rest. Yeah, that felt um, helpful if we need it because of the boss fight. But kind of weird to be here. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, we can be one. Oh, there's a cave here. Let the bird. Oh, Plumbus Mountain Cave. Damage. That's slow. If this thing just takes me to the top, I'll be a bit annoyed. Uh huh. No. Damage. Ah, oh, Climber's Bandana. Ah, oh, I completed the set now. It may look like a regular bandana, but it's actually infused with ancient technology that enhances core strength to improve your climbing ability. Uh, uh, yeah, complete set. But those two I found here, this one was going to... I think it was Harrow Field still. We're going to Hebra. Okay, let's check here. Where is it? Ah. Mm. Didn't burn that. Hey, where's? Oh, come on, where is my bike? He wasn't supposed to vanish. I just left it here. I thought there would be a car or something around here. Uh, there it is. Mm, Agnadote 1. Uh, the solid water and the fluid spear, as told by Prince Sidon. The Zoro are not associated with water because of our dwelling place alone. We each also, to varying extents, possess the ability to actually manipulate water. Ah, that is some retcon that makes sense with other titles. But I think mostly with her warriors. Uh, we use this gift for many purposes. We use it to swim faster, to achieve mighty leaps from the waves below, to get our fish, and so much more. Oh, it must be interesting to fish manipulating water. For me, the true awakening of this ability that, that many of my childhood chums already possessed came upon me quite suddenly. One day, as I was training at Vale Falls, the rain is slickened my grasp, causing me to drop my spear. I reached to grab it, but it was already too far away. Soon it would fall to the bottom of the cliff, never to be seen again. I knew that I must take hold of it, and at that moment droplets created a stream extending from my outstretched hand. And so he is able to throw a spear and pull it back. The water stream twisted and turned until it finally took hold of my falling spear and definitely returned it to my grasp. In that moment, the water was solid and my, flu my spear fluid. 
This sensation forever changed my approach to spirit play. I was reminded of how my sister Mifa described it, and everything clicked. Water and spirit became as one. Gaining yet another layer of admiration for my dear sister, I devoted myself to my spirit training from then on. Hmm. That wasn't this one here before. Uh -huh. This is over here. Come to me, my fishy. Yeah. Me. Ah, oh, you're the one that got dragged away all the way to Lake Hylia before, wasn't it? Wow, are you a fellow fish enthusiast? Uh, no, I'm getting carried away. In any case, if you're looking to catch some fish, this is the best spot. And that's all thanks to Prince Sino. He's cleaning the water in Mipha's cart, which is up above. So the fish from a whole river migrated here. Fishes can climb as well. Ooh. Can I climb that? Uh, that's too high. No, still too high. Ah, oh, there's Sino. Ah, oh, he's act actively cleaning it. Hmm. Oh. I thought he would be talking to advisors at the court. Figuring out a way to deal with this ledge. Hmm. Mirror perch. Uh, they don't stay in position. They stay in position. I never. Yeah, I never really tried. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, I probably won't need to take them all with me. Okay, that's just way back. What about my chest? Actually, let's go along. Mm -hmm. oh.
Spraying their song. First, me the statue. Uh huh. Yes, I don't wouldn't get rid of that. Please protect us. Ah. Roof. Oh, yeah, the guy who likes to dive. Wow, I was wondering who that may be, and it turns out to be none other than Link. Look, do you see how much Plymouth Mountain has changed? It now enshrines a glorious statue of Mip. She looks after the Zord from here, just like she always did. The reason we can endure this ledge is because of everyone's efforts and also thanks to her kind protection. What's over here? Now they have an actual diving platform here. Okay, so I thought there will be more like a meeting room here and stuff. Since it's. And she don't want it. Did they fell from the sky here? Ah, this is gets him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shh, keep down. The prince requires absolute quiet to concentrate on his important work. No. Wait, Link? You came here to see Prince Sidon? Well, since it's you, that should be no problem at all. I'm sure Prince Sidon will be thrilled to see you. Ah. Is that best? Uh, Note on table, Myth Court Security Report. Riven. Day in, day out, the sludge never stops falling. Thanks to the tireless efforts of Prince Sidon, the water flowing into the domain has been kept somewhat clean. But the mountain path to Toto Lake and to Duma is completely covered in sludge. When you want to sneak over there, remember to bring lots of splash fruit. No, you're a Riva. So nice to see you, Link. Welcome. Are you looking for Prince Sidon? Hi. You'll find him over there, intently focused on his important work. Ah. I'm certain that if Prince Sidon knew you were here, he would be overjoyed to see you, Link. Now then, please go see him right away. Yeah, where did the best go to? Oh, hang on. I see a picture of that weapon. He'll probably never do that pose again. Oh, I swim here. Uh -huh. His clothes change a little bit. Ah, he got his ass clothes. Okay, that is the only right picture for this weapon. No, 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 I got to get his hands as well. Hmm. Because it's flippers, but I think it's a little better. Of the server. It's good to see you, my friend. <laughs> Link has been far too long. I received word that you had gone missing. It was beside myself a concern. Whatever could have transpired. No. To think something like that could have taken place beneath Hyrule Castle. 
And afterward, you mysteriously awoke on the Sky Island. The sky. Could it be that the sky is the key to everything after all? Well, the sludge is falling from there. Uh, my apologies. I have actually been wondering if those floating sky islands could be the source of the falling sludge. Uh, that is why I have asked uh, Zoro historian to investigate ruin fragments and all historical documents related to the sky. Mm -hmm. As for me, I am not at liberty to leave this spot at present, as I am uniquely qualified to deal with this sludge here. Mm. You see, old friend, this place is the source water of that flows into Zoro's domain. That is why I must use my power of water manipulation to separate the sludge from our water in order to clean it. Shouldn't the others be able to do that even if less efficiently? If I seized, then the solid water will flow into our beloved home, and there will be much pain and suffering. That is why I cannot afford to live here, no matter what. Hmm. Sailing. Uh, does it not seem that Princess Zelda's whereabouts may be related to the floating sky islands in the ruins? Hmm. If so, perhaps you should go and speak with our historian, Giato. His many ears have blessed him with great wisdom. It is quite possible that he could provide you with some useful information. At present, you should be able to find Giato continuing his investigation at Total Lake. Mm -hmm. By the way, I hope you know that I am truly happy to see you again after such a long time apart, my dearest friend. Miss me anytime like. Your presence is never anything less than welcome and appreciated. Oh, it's so nice. Oh. Ah, if it is the Zora armor, huh? The armor really is perfect on you, my friend. I am sure it will aid you in your search for Princess Zelda. Yes. Speaking of the lost princess, it's possible that something I know may be of use to you. If you have something you would like to ask me about, do not hesitate to let me know. Uh, Giato? Uh. I have tasked the historian Giato with investigating the ring fragments and any history books regarding the sky. Was Giato the one that was checking the Zora monuments in the previous one? If you believe that Princess Zelda's whereabouts are related to the floating islands or the ruins, speak with him. I believe Giato is currently conducting his investigation at Total Lake, which is northwest of here. Yeah, I was just there. The sludge. Uh, this is truly a burden. Uh, I'm using my ability to manipulate water to separate the clean water from the sludge. If I seize, the dirty water will flow into the domain cause everyone to suffer. That is why I cannot leave this place no matter what. Yona? Lady Yona, she is my dearest childhood companion and much more. She is also my fiancé, my intended, my bride-to-be. There was a time when we saw each other often, but life got in the way as it does. Time has certainly gotten away from us. I recall our childhood days with utmost fondness and at last she has come to visit him for the first time in a while, and yet, must admit, I have been a tad awkward around her. Due to the situation at hand, we have barely spoken since she arrived. She has been an immense help in easing our struggle here. So I am so grateful for her kindness. Link, it's brutal being unable to help you with your investigation. Still, please do let me know if you make any headway. Hmm. What will they get together? The son of King Dorfan, an enthusiastic Zora with real of your zeal for justice. He is selflessly protects the domain with integrity and passion. His older sister, the champion Mipha, fought Calamity Ganon a hundred years ago. Link earned his complete trust when they worked together to save the domain years before. He now considers him his closest companion. Didn't check this one. Yona, a real Zora from another domain. Known for her kindness, she was Sidon's childhood friends and is now his fiancée. Uh, she began assisting the residents of Zora's domain in their efforts to combat the sludge as soon as she arrived. A match for Sidon's selfless compassion, she dedicates herself to helping the citizens of the domain. 
Yeah, they seem to be a good fit for each other. Maybe they just need some time to get to know each other again. Maple card ahead. Opal Broadsword. I don't get it. What's the difference between a rod and a broadsword when they are like that? Sometimes they have the same name. Sometimes they seem to be almost the same thing and they have different names. That actually may be better against against to use on the sludge. <laughs> Lionel Boomerang. A curved sword favored by Lizal, who is made of metal so it can safely use near fire. If you throw it, will turn to. Yeah, that's on a Lizal boomerang. Uh, this would be nice. Oh, can I use a slime? Oh, maybe you just break. But I could try using. I should shoot jelly on a weapon. Yeah, it doesn't throw water. Yeah, it just splashes. Okay, tell me the secrets. Uh, Link, you have returned at last. Quickly, let us read this stone tab. It's late. Stand upon the lane of the sky fish. Huh. And behold its lofty view. Among the floating rocks, you see a droplet awaits for you. Through this droplet, shoot an arrow with the mark of the king. And do this task and you shall reveal a most wondrous thing see the watery bridges resting spot which with your own two eyes that which connects the zoro to the people of the skies will there be some reference to the wingfish <gasps> this is an extraordinary discovery this important text actually tells us how to journey into the sky. Uh, so, in truth, the mystery just leads us straight into another. One difficulty has been overcome, and yet another has appeared in its wake. As it mentions the mark of the king, perhaps it would be prudent to consult King Dorothan, although just the symbol of the Zora. So, where is the king? I assume that he will be returning from his investigation of the sludge shortly. Uh, where? Isn't that kind of urgent news? Okay, that's just the rhyme again. Uh, so, it does mention a connection between Zoro and the sky still. I simply do not understand it. As it mentions the mark of the king, perhaps, but assume he'll return shortly. Yeah, but where is the king? You didn't tell me. Am I supposed to go meet the Zora boy that said he knows? Jato is making a big fuss. But honestly, even if I ask him uh, to explain his excitement, a soldier like me probably wouldn't understand. Where's King Dorfan? Huh? Uh, you're looking for King Dorfan. I heard that he left a while back to investigate the sludge. That said, I am not allowed to leave here because I'm on guard duty. Just tell me where to. Ah. 
For I know King Dorfan has already triumphantly, triumphantly returned. Okay, so let's see if he returns. Ah, uh, I like to see him walking back. I must know what he must know. Okay, the king does seem to be there. How fun that the children are playing a secret game in the throne room. Uh, it kind of seems like they're pretending to be King Dorfan. I'm curious as to what sort of things they're speaking about. King Dorfan, correct? They insist that the game is a secret, won't allow any adults to get near. They say King Dorfan himself told them not to tell anybody. I must know th what the secret is. After all, if it truly is about King Dorfan, I'm sure Prince Adam would want to be proud as well. If I catch wind of something, I could use it as an excuse to talk to you. I mean, I could definitely tell Prince Adam about it. Uh, but even when I accidentally strain here there, they quickly shoot me away. Leto was merely cleaning the throne room and he was chased out as well. I wonder if there's any way to covertly listen to the game. trouble. You know for super punch and super kick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so big and strong. Oh no, I got beat. This ledge so yucky. Ah, you got me, you big dumb monster. There's no other choice. I'll have to hide in the secret spot. That spot is... Huh? What's up, guy? Uh, we're full up on folk who are allowed to play our King Dorfan game. We can't keep playing with you here, so take a hint and scram. Oh, the kids are mean. Okay, and maybe I'm supposed to die from below. I did it, but the sludge is too thick and gross. I have failed. My king, King Dorfan, uh, pretty please. Uh, what if you went to that one place to hide? Hey, come on, do it right. That didn't sound like him at all. I'm trying, but I can't play Muzu and the monster, not all by myself. Hey, I've been wondering forever. The super spot where King Dorfan is hiding, what kind of place is it? I know, right? As ask King Dorfan about it once. Uh, he said it was a precinct sanctumy or something. Precinct sanctumy. So I guess it's a spot with clear water. So where you can get your tummy clean and stuff. But these days, most of the water around the domain is all yucky because of the sludge. Oh, oh. I heard there's clean water flowing uh, somewhere between Plymouth Mountain and the domain. And there's supposed to be a secret entrance behind the waterfall too. Uh, how cool is that? Uh, so I could have accidentally found it while climbing there. The secret entrance behind a waterfall with clean water. Uh, that sounds pretty amazing. Yep. Hey, wait a minute. Buzz told us we could never ever tell anyone. It's fine, no one is listening. Anyway, let's go through our game again. This time with feeling. Uh, can we play something else? The Pristine Sanctum -y. sounds so cool, doesn't it? Oh wait, maybe it was a Pristine Sanctum, whatever the what that is. So there's gonna be a place somewhere between Plymouth Mountain and the main where clean water falls. A place like that sounds wonderful. I hope King Dorfan is getting some good rest there. Uh, the coolest part is about how there's a secret entrance behind that waterfall. No, no, no. Most daughters should keep secrets and uh, never know who might be listening. Who might be listening? It's also cool, doesn't it? And now you're going to just saying that in front of me? Uh, hey guy, you didn't uh, hear any of that, did you? No, we weren't supposed to let anyone find out. 
Oh. What are you here? What are they saying? Could it be that you somehow... Damn it, if I saw you before, I would have listened to you. You were... Brooming the water? Uh, could it be that you somehow managed to hear what the young ones were saying about King Dorphan? I'm entirely fascinated by how the young ones are pretending to be King Dorphan. I was just pondering if there's some way I could sneak closer to overhear the chatter. Please tell me, what are they saying? Uh, I've gotten carried away, I'll just have to find a way to hear the chatter for myself. Never did speak in the room. I'll be lying if uh, uh. Ah. Oh. Okay, you seem to be kind of saying the same thing. I'm just talking to her. My voice is good as gold. Oh. Uh huh. Hello. Oh. Uh -huh. mm. Yes, my voice is good as gold again. I feel so much better. Just earlier, Lady Anna treated my girls. Ah, she moved to another one. And look at me now, I can return to work at full health once more. Ah. I feel that we, Lady Yon included, have grown much closer to the sort of the domain through these trying times. Uh, I think you said something like that before. Ah. Uh, ah, Link, I see you have come to the infirmary. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're thankfully managing to create enough clean water to wash off this sludge that stuck our patient's skills. Uh, you may not know this, but it's actually a rare ability among the Zora. Ooh. But Prince Sino's power is far more incredible. He's cleaned the Zora water source all by himself. By comparison, we can only manage to clean small bits of sludge at a time. <laughs> Still, we must try our best to benefit all. To the benefit of all. Can I talk to you? Capello. <sighs> I sorry, but I had nothing but a burden ever since I, I touched my sludge. <laughs> ah, Tona. Sludge makes me feel so gross. Tochka. No, it wasn't Tochka here before. Alright. So I met with him. Closer link, can I help something? It was your armor, before scorch, where's King Dorfa? I hear that King Ol has left the domain to investigate the sludge. His reasoning was that we do not have enough sword to get the job done without him. He is so like his son. Everyone is looking forward to his return. He is such a beloved and dependable king. <laughs> Children have been have even gathered in the throne room and are pretending to be their King Dorfo. How sweet. Anything else? Zora Armor. So honored that I was able to fix the Zora Armor entrusted to the domain. And I was made aware that it is tied to very precious memories for you. As you well know, the Zora Armor is quite special. Yes, yes. It allows even a Hylian like you to climb waterfalls with ease. I hope it proves useful to you along your journey. Of course, it will not help you with climbing waters that have been tainted with sludge. I think she means those pure sludges. Yeah, because I thought this this was water tainted with sludge. However, uh, with her great skills, certainly, I'm certain you will find a way up that waterfall. Cloud of river it is. Wow. Please just one investigation, but okay. Whoa. And now we're at what's yes, me for yes. course. It's a wonderfully scenic park that was only recently unveiled atop Plymouth Mountain. It was once a dwelling place of a fierce monsters, and no one there set foot up there. Yeah, shouldn't the line always spawn all the blue moons? I am told that after those monsters were defeated, the Zora of the domain determined a park should be built there. Whoa. It is a beautiful spot, partially because it's the source of all the clean water that flows into the domain. Yes. Be well, dear Link. If ever I can be of use, do let me know. I hope we can chat more once things have settled down. Uh, if you kill... Something simple, a bokoblin. And then build up a giant block of cement where it should spawn. Would it spawn inside the cement and die again? Or would it spawn near this, the block?
let's teleport up there and then I'd say he's in the middle one with all the names does he know anything hey think I have any progress to search for Zelda so the stone slate Giotto was researching had that written on it the land of the sky fish floating rocks with a floating droplet among them and the mark of the king hmm. this mystery only deepens mm. pretty good sure could be a, of more use to or some use to you the mark of the king hmm. the mark of the king uh, I'm sorry but I have no idea what that could be as Yato often tells me when in doubt ask my father he is he is not the beloved Zoro king for nothing after all Okay, so if he had that died already and you were the king, we'll be screwed. Uh, he left the domain to investigate the sludge, that is all I know. I'm hopeful he'll, that he'll return soon. Perhaps you could try visiting the throne room. As you may recall, it is in the center of the domain. Anything else? The sludge. It's filthy, that much certain. With my ability to manipulate water, it means I'm the water with the sludge. Maybe that, I think that's the same. Inyona, Inyona, she's well my fiance, intended by to be, okay. So you got a hand, okay, I think that was the same. Oh no, there could be the one down there as well. Oh no, but it is Mikali. Huh. This kind of reminds me of Christian Sanctum, yeah, of La Nero's Spring, uh, kind of Shabu Shabus and Shabu. Uh, caves? No, Shabu was a cave, the other wasn't. Ah, oh, seriously, you're sitting here as well? Why do you have another... Oh... Could this be part of the... Ocarina of Time... Zora Domain? What's up, Muzu? Is he alright? Ah, who approaches? Is that you? So it is, Link. How did you find this place? What cruel ploy are you plotting? Come on, you like me already! I think. Uh, hold my ever loyal Muzu. If we speak in such a way without explanation, Link here will only be confused as to what is going on. Dorfa, King of the Zora. I thought you would be walking around. Hello, Link. It has been some time since we last spoke. I have received word that you went missing along with Princess Zelda. Why have you come here? Well, well, to think that such a thing should transpire for a hero of Hyrule in Princess Zelda. Huh? You expect us to believe that Princess Zelda simply disappeared just like that? Do not sully our ears with your lies. Come on, weren't we friends now? I saw Princess Zelda with my own eyes right after the phenomenon when Hyrule Castle took place. Hmm. Calm yourself, Muzu. Link's eyes betrayed no hint of this deception, he remains a trusted friend of the Zora. There must be an explanation. Link, I will now tell you what happened when we last saw Princess Zelda. As well as the reason behind my seclusion here in the pristine sanctum. We encountered Princess Zelda just after Haru Castle ascended into the sky. Floating islands appeared as if from nowhere. Sludge and fragments of ruins began raining down. Muzu and I had left the domain to investigate these strange occurrences. That is when it happened. Princess Zelda descended from the sky in a accompanied by this sludge monster. Uh, what happened next took us by surprise. She then unleashed the beast upon us. Okay, so that's why he's Muzu is not trustful of Hylians at the moment. King Dorfman violently vanquished the threat. However, she, he was gravely injured by the sludge during the battle. As for Princess Zelda, she vanished without a trace. 
<sighs> if word got out that Princess Zelda lost her mind and harmed the Zora King, the resulting turmoil would be devastating. That is why we are temporarily remaining hidden within the Pristine Sanctum. According to her story, Princess Zelda disappears suddenly in the depths beneath her castle. On the other hand, she suddenly appeared near Zora's domain and unleashed a monster upon us. The waters of truth have become murkier still, but from the Zora perspective, one thing is clear. It all leads back to the sky. The disaster, the sludge, the monster and even Princess Zelda. It may well be that the answer to these riddles can only be found skyward. Sino so other Giato, a historian well acquainted with the ruins to investigate. Uh, how were you guys elsewhere? I mean, when, how do you know about that? I wonder if any progress has been made. <laughs> ah, so you have already spoken with Giato. Hmm. You say that the mark of the king was mentioned on the stone slate that was restored. Hmm, indeed, I do know of it. The mark of the king refers to Zora King's scale. One of my scales, in other words. Ah, so it's like a genetic trait. Once you pass away and he became the king, he will grow large like that and have special scales. Oh. I have heard it called by the name you mentioned in an ancient ritual. However, none remain who know how it was used. If this particular scale of mine may prove useful to you, by all means, take a few. Does it hurt? When it, uh, there is... There's no need for restraint. This is not has nothing to me. If we run out, simply return and acquire more, so I can get as many as I need. <laughs> like that. King scale. Oh. We we'll attach that to weapons. Zora kings bear the scale on their foreheads. Sparkles in different ways depending on the angle from which it's viewed. They were once used in ancient Zora ceremonies. Uh, after all that has transpired, and after much reflection, I have come to a realization. I must truly be getting on in years to have allowed a mere monster to catch me off guard. Yeah, from my calculations, you're probably around 400. Perhaps the time is nearing for me to pass the title of king on Sidon. Also, you don't really have to die to pass the title. In Dorfan. In any case, that is a matter for another day, after the chaos surrounding the sludge has quieted. Please inform Sidon about my situation and about the king's scale. Tell him there is no need to worry about me. Tell him that he must go forth and do what, he, what needs to be done. Hmm. Princess are descending from the sky coming my monster. It seems the answer to our mysteries are skyward. As for the mark of the king written upon... Uh, written on, of upon the stone slate, could there be a connection? <gasps> hmm? ah, I still have been reunited with the, your Zora armor, a fitting garment for a hero of your caliber. Yet I doubt that you came here simply to show me your armor. Is there something you'd like to ask me? Ask, and uh, whatever knowledge I possess shall be yours. The mark of the king? As I said, the mark of the king is also called the king's scale. I know it was called by the name you mentioned in ancient ritual, however, uh, Still, if the name was carved in the stone slate, it may have some connection to ritual vault. Then take my scales, they may group them. Uh -huh. Princess Zelda, listen and I shall speak. We encountered Princess Zelda just after her cast in the sky. Muzo and I left the domain to investigate the strange occurrences, that is when it happened. Princess Zelda suddenly descended from the sky, accompanied by the sludge monster, they all have took us by surprise, she then unleashed the monster upon us, in order from vanity drove back the monster, drove back, ah, oh, I thought you had defeated, uh, killed it, I don't remember what you said exactly before, however he had been gravely injured by this sludge during the battle, as for the princess Zelda, she vanished without a trace, her chest starved, Zelda disappeared suddenly, that is, change, she appeared again, unleashed the monster upon us, okay, Spire, after mesmerization, have controlization, getting your ears. You? Yeah. Huh? This is our armor, I see. Then she was able to repair it after all. 
Their armor certainly suits you well. You have earned as much. So we're good now. Still following this reason the Beko with Princess Zell, the setting monster upon King Darfon. I have difficult believing that what you have told me. I do apologize. It's her oh. evil sister. Uh, I really wish that I could believe what you're saying. However, it does not add up my sister's apologies. Mm. <gasps> Can we cook it? No, yeah, you'll probably just yeah, ruin stuff. But we can cook it. Can I attach to Azora? Well, I got five. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, but I think I'll have to attach two arrows, actually. Five ar arrows, so close to five scales. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to use them together. I thought the frog would be up there. 